so I'll also do a bit of anthropology. Uh, anthropology. Uh, I choose anthropology because uh, one is anthropology is not dynamic as an optional. Uh, for something like political science or something like that, you have to constantly update your notes. Anthropology doesn't have that headache in the sense that you can you can make your notes and you can add a bit of value addition here and there, but you need not regularly update your notes. So that is one of the advantages of anthropology as an optional. And uh, second uh, thing was obviously I was interested in physical anthropology, also the genetics and all, because uh, in paper one physical anthropology has a lot of uh, like you know uh, space taken. So if you are not comfortable with uh, physical anthropology aspects, whether it is genetics or archaeology in fact, or fossils, it's going to be difficult for you. So if you are comfortable reading those topics, you can go ahead with anthropology. And apart from that, the practical reasons, there is a lot of material available. The topper notes are really good. The topper copies are also there. And there is no depth of material only and there is enough guidance also. Test series are also good. So that is also one of the reasons I took anthropology. So yeah, I'll just do a basic, uh, uh, I'll just tell a basic strategy of anthropology. Uh, st so anthropology, what I did was, anthropology, I feel the better your notes, the better your answers will be. So it's all about notes in anthropology. Because the questions are also becoming very dynamic uh, these days, very difficult these days, because uh, many people are taking up anthropology as an optional. So gone are the days where the questions are directly from the syllabus or something like that. They're giving a bit of analytical and twisted questions. So for that, what is important is that you, you kind of, you know, uh, take up uh, a lot of uh, topper notes or any kind of sources and you make a notes. One is the basic notes you have. Basic notes is like you, you will take up a topic and you will prepare a basic version of the notes for every topic mentioned in the syllabus. And then comes value addition. Value addition becomes extremely important for you to differentiate your answers from others. Value addition you can again use it from any of the toppers notes that are available. So do ensure that first basic answer, basic of making of notes is done and then a lot of value addition is done to the uh, uh, notes already there. And the second thing that is important for anthropology is revision. Like for other optionals, answer writing might be important. I'm not telling anthropology doesn't require extensive answer writing, but more than answer writing, revision is important for anthropology because it is a subject that has a lot to remember. You need to remember a lot of things, whether it is in physical anthropology or archaeology or even tribal anthropology. So the more you revise, the better it is. So unless you are not revising and you're just jumping into answer writing, that is not going to work. But if you do a lot of revision and even if you are writing very less number of tests, that is still fine. But don't directly jump into answer writing without properly revising. That is not going to happen. And third is interlinking. Interlinking in anthropology. Only with good revisions can interlinking comes. Like, you know, you have to link paper one topics with paper two, vice versa, paper two topics with paper one. You have to use exam case studies of tribal anthropology and sociocultural anthropology. You have to use concepts of sociocultural anthropology and tribal anthropology. And for that to happen, you have to revise a lot, right? So the more you revise, the better you'll be able to form these interconnections. So that is again extremely important. So do focus on revisions more and less. Uh, even if you are giving less time for answer writing, that is still fine. But revisions are non-negotiable. You are going to forget things in anthropology very quickly. So this is one thing that I want to tell in anthropology. Apart from that, uh, uh, what is important is that short notes is also important for some topics in anthropology. For instance, there is archaeology. Archaeology is a topic where you can get confused easily. For instance, there is something like Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Chalcolithic, Iron Age, Bronze Age, all such things. So there are numerous sites that you have to remember at the global level, at the India level and all such things. What happens is that you will get confused. So instead of that, you can make short notes. What does that short notes include? You will include a table and you will write Paleolithic here. You will write type, uh, type of tool. You will write tool technology. You will write the sites, you will write sites at the global level, you will write the sites at the India level and you will also write socio-cultural characteristics and all such things. So do this for all periods, six to seven periods that are there and do short notes in the form of a table. So this is all you have to revise for archaeology, right? So this is what you have to do. Archaeology on the face of it appears difficult but if you, uh, you know, reduce it to this level that is making a table including all subheadings and all ages in this manner and you just have to revise this table one, once and for all it becomes easy for you to replicate. This is how short notes is used for archaeology specifically and apart from that even short notes can be made for tribal anthropology. There are numerous case studies uh, in tribal anthropology. You have to write them down in one place and read and revise them continuously so that you can use them in paper one also because it's all about interlinking like I said you can use them in 
paper one also and within uh, what happens is that tribal anthropology the diverse the case studies the better so it's not like ki when you are reading a case study and tribal displacement you are using the example only case study only there it's not like that you can use that example in other areas also you can use that in, for tribal problems in general also so it's important that you write down the case studies together in one place and continuously revise, revise them so that you can use them in multiple places so you will not be dearth of uh, case studies i would say in that sense uh, so this is basically a strategy uh, basic very basic strategy 75 people have even scored 320 so uh, but but this is the basic strategy rest i think uh, you uh, there are better uh, topper uh, talks and uh, channels for this there is mandar patki sir who has scored really good marks in anthropology there is narayan amit sir uh, i think uh, ranks 70 in one of the years so he also has got good notes and for physical anthropology you can refer to apala mishra ma'am's notes she also has written really good notes and apart from that epg patashala material is one material that can help you in uh, you know doing notes for anthropology because uh, many questions are directly coming uh, from that material so you can you can uh, read up that tpg partial material so yeah this is a basic strategy of anthropology i'm i'm not extending it because i think maybe there are better strategies available out there than mine so one thing is definitely you have a lot of topper uh, copies topper notes like i said there are numerous topper notes that have been uploaded especially for anthropology so from there what happens is that once you make your basic notes you just have to run through the topper notes just skim through them and if some point is missing in your notes or some point you some point you find nice but it is missing in your notes you just have to add it up somewhere that is one way of making a, a value addition and second thing is there are telegram channels that are giving a, uh, value addition from current affairs point of view also for anthropology not a lot like other subjects for political science which is completely dynamic you have to follow current affairs lot but there are telegram channels that are providing you uh, current affairs uh, for anthropology uh, which can also act as a value addition so follow those channels you can pick them pick one or two articles daily from newspapers and then that you can use as value addition for anthropology uh, apart from that i think you can follow some of the channels if you wish like there are youtube channels about especially about like you know uh, primates fossils these are the topics in physical anthropology there are continuously updates about for instance something like neanderthal neanderthals is their topic one of the persons has uh, received nobel prize in one of the years so this is the thing that you have to do right so this is where you can get value addition from